Hey there, I'm Jonathan, upholstery rep here at American Lifestyle Furniture. Now, there can be a lot of different uh, types of leather out in the industry you might experience along your travels. It can get pretty confusing. At American, we believe in being completely upfront and honest about every piece of furniture we sell. So today, we're gonna go over a lot of those different types of leather you might find out there. Let's start with top grain leather, then go into split grain leather, uncorrected leather, corrected leather, full grain leather, and lastly, what is bonded leather? Let's get started. All right, so what is top grain leather? What is split grain leather? Well, when leather gets processed and ready for production, it typically gets split like that. And then it becomes two separate sheets. This top part of the leather is called the top grain leather. This is the part that's been exposed to the elements and to the life of the cow. Typically, it's a little bit softer and more supple. It's going to have maybe bug bites on it, or uh, if the cow accidentally bumped into some barbed wire, it might be on there too. So you can get two different types of top grain leather. Sometimes, as it is here, it's gonna be lightly corrected, which means it's been sanded down and then buffed, and then a grain has been stamped or embossed onto it. But that doesn't always happen. Sometimes top grain leather is just left in its raw state. This is gonna be called uncorrected leather, but we'll get to that in a second. So that stamp, that embossment that goes on there, that's called correction, a corrected leather. What that means is that they've removed the grain of the cow and put their own on to create a uniform, consistent appearance. Look, feel, everything about it has been corrected. So what does it mean to be uncorrected? Let's take a look at this ottoman. Uncorrected means that it has not had a stamped grain put into it. The grain you're looking at here is the actual grain of the cow. Now, it has been sanded down and probably buffed a little bit to create this nice, smooth hand. The hand is how it feels. But you also see these little wrinkles. That was part of the cow at one time. You see the little bug bites. That happened to the cow at one time. Uncorrected leather comes into your home looking rustic, and it will continue to look rustic. It's gonna share the story, the life of the cow before it came furniture and after. So, We've talked about top grain leather, and we've talked about split leather. We've talked about corrected leather, and we've talked about uncorrected leather. So what is this bonded leather you keep seeing out there? Well, when you make these pieces uh, for either furniture or clothing or purses or shoes, there's always a little bit left over. Those pieces are then taken and formed into its own leather sheet, bonded together, and then that leather sheet is applied to a polyurethane or a cotton-based fabric together to create a bonded leather. The same process they use for the correction on the leather, they use on the top of the polyurethane to make it look like leather. The bonded leather underneath makes it feel like leather and gives it a little bit of a durability. But remember, the only place the leather is touching is on the bottom of the fabric. It's not touching you. That's bonded leather. Well, that's about it for leather for now. If you like what you saw, come check out our complete selection of leather, whether in our 14 stores or online at www.afwonline.com. Remember, at American Lifestyle Furniture, we believe in giving you all the information up front. So like, subscribe below, we'll catch you next time.